the spring break of 2013. And I was driving from Santa Barbara to Monterey on the Big Sur on the Pacific Coast Highway. It's that time when it hit me that I just had to bring in something from my personal life into my professional life and I should definitely be doing uh, driving simulation studies. In the world of research, virtual reality as we define it now is not very famous. So, aim of my lab is to be at the forefront of that, to lead with an example, to show the world what we can do with VR. We study how cognition influences the quality of movement, particularly with attention under anxiety and stress. In virtual environments, we study driving with distractions, for example, using a cell phone while you're driving. For my master's project here at our lab, I worked on a driving simulator and I looked at whether there are gender differences in driving performance. Interestingly, I found no differences in driving performance between men and women. When we run a study in the lab, we first describe the problem. We then try to understand the neural mechanisms underlying this dysfunction. And then we put these discoveries together to develop interventions that would address the dysfunction. This is how we develop what I call mechanistic interventions. So the reason why we do this work in the aging population and those with Parkinson's is to enhance their quality of life and improve their independence. This is the future of current rehab science that I believe we are headed towards. We are riding that wave where the paradigm shift in science is happening. VR is that paradigm shift that is coming into the human performance realm. That's where I want to take our science.